and all unregistered contractors in the country have been put on notice by the National Construction Authority. This follows the passing of the deadline for all contractors in the country to register with the authority. So far, only 20,000 contractors ended up in the authority's database, and Philip Keitani has more on this report. Scenes such as these have characterized the local construction industry in the recent past, largely blamed on unqualified construction companies. In the last couple of years, Kenya has seen a number of buildings collapse. Some of these include a building in Kisi which collapsed in January 2009, one in Kiambu in October 2009, and the infamous Kehonge building on River Road which collapsed on the 26th January 2006. This has resulted in loss of lives as well as toll development, forcing the government to take drastic measures instituting statutory requirements developers will have to meet before they are allowed to operate. It is on this basis that the National Construction Authority has come up with a raft of regulations that are expected to ensure that all players in the industry are well qualified and operate within the same rules. So far, the authority has registered 20,000 constructors that it says will be allowed to conduct construction jobs within the country. The rules will be subjected to foreign contractors operating in the country as the authority seeks to weed out contractors without necessary qualifications to carry out projects. The authority says all letters of registration issued on or before December 31st, 2013 will no longer be valid from next month with contractors expected to get new registration. Construction companies found to be contravening the regulations risk imprisonment or fine not exceeding 1 million shillings.